Welcome to the Hematology series, a series of informative and short videos on hematology. In this video, we will briefly be covering the size, color and shape variations of red blood cells. A typical red blood cell is biconcave in shape. Red blood cells appear pink when stained with a Romanovsky stain, resembling donuts. The biconcave shape is essential for red cells to travel through tiny capillaries. Furthermore, because of the high surface area to volume ratio created by their shape, gases can easily diffuse into and out of them. However, red blood cell size, shape, and hemoglobin concentration might change depending on a patient's medical condition. The mean cell volume indicates the size of RBCs in a patient's sample and it is measured in femtoliters. The size of a normal red blood cell is about 7 to 8 micrometers in diameter having a mean cell volume of around 80 to 100 femtoliters. An MCV less than 80 femtoliters indicates the presence of microcytic red cells or microcytosis. Microcytic red cells are found in iron deficiency anemia and thalassemia. An MCV more than 100 femtoliters indicates the presence of macrocytic red cells or macrocytosis. Macrocytes are found in megaloblastic and other non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemias. Red blood cells seem lighter in color and have a greater central pallor when their hemoglobin concentration is lower than that of a typical normal cell. Hypochromia is indicated by low mean cell hemoglobin and or low mean cell hemoglobin concentration. For example, thalassemia and iron deficiency anemia both exhibit hypochromia. Polychromatic cells, also known as reticulocytes, are immature red blood cells. Polychromasia is indicated by their presence. They have a grayish-blue stain and are found in conditions such as hemolytic anemia and hemorrhage. Unlike normal red blood cells, the shape or outline of abnormal red cells can be irregular. The following are examples. Teardrop cells resemble a teardrop and are also known as dacrocytes. They are found in conditions such as thalassemia, myelofibrosis and myelitisic anemia. Sickle cells or drepanocytes are elongated sickle-shaped red blood cells with sharp ends. They are associated with hemoglobin S disease and SC disease. Schistocytes are fragmented red blood cells. These are found in microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, burns, thalassemia, mechanical hemolytic anemia and renal graft rejection. Bite cells or digmocytes can have one or more missing sections as a result of Heinz bodies removed by the spleen. These are commonly associated with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Acanthocytes or spur cells have multiple irregular space projections. These are found in liver disease, splenectomy, starvation, hypothyroidism, and vitamin E deficiency. Echinocytes or burr cells have evenly spaced projections. These could be artifactual or associated with uremia, hemolytic anemia, pyruvate kinase deficiency and microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Variation in abnormal red blood cell shapes can also be round. Such examples include the following. Elliptocytes have an elliptical shape. They are associated with hereditary elliptocytosis, iron deficiency anemia, myelofibrosis and thalassemia. Spherocytes have an increased hemoglobin content and lack the normal central pallor and the biconcave configuration. This is found in hereditary spherocytosis and autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Pencil cells are elongated cells resembling a pencil. They are usually found in iron deficiency anemia. Ovolocytes have an oval shape. They are associated with hereditary ovolocytosis, thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. Abnormal hemoglobin distribution can also alter the shape of red blood cells. The following are some examples. Stomatocytes have a mouth shape due to the abnormal distribution of hemoglobin. These cells are found in alcoholism or may be inherited. Target cells or codocytes resemble a target by having excess hemoglobin in the cell's central pallor. These cells are linked with hemoglobinopathies, thalassemia, post-splenectomy and iron deficiency anemia. 
hemoglobin crystals form in the excess of hemoglobin C. They are associated with hemoglobin C disease, hemoglobin SC disease and hemoglobin C beta thalassemia. Abnormal red blood cell distribution can also form, as seen in autoagglutination and rouleau formation. In agglutination red blood cells link together forming a clump. Agglutination is linked with antigen-antibody reactions such as in cold agglutinins disease. In rouleau formation, red blood cells stack on top of each other like coins. They are associated with chronic inflammation and excess immunoglobulin production such as in multiple myeloma. Thank you for watching.